Welcome back to Phenomenal English. Let us take a look at um, some situations. The present tense performs the function of the future tense. How the present tense can tell us something that has not yet happened. The present tense can express a future action. I stand here. I'm standing here before you, that is present tense, telling us what is, you know, happening right away. You know, you watch, you watch from where you are, or you are watching, which is, a, you know, the present continuous. You can also that you watch regularly, the present tense telling us about what happens um, either always or regularly. Those are two uh, situations, but I'm talking in terms of Something, something that has not even happened, and you want to use the present tense to state it. The media, you know, the media use this a lot. You will have been reading, maybe in the newspapers, uh, something like, um, the president arrives tomorrow. The president arrives tomorrow. Buhari travels on Monday. That Monday hasn't come. That tomorrow too is still away in the wind. But we are, we are using uh, arrives to express it, which is the present tense telling us about the future, something that has not happened. It is correct. And there is nothing bad in you to some, you know, sometimes smartly, you know, using that kind of, you know, that kind of uh, expression. You should just be very sure that you are deliberately using, you are trying to, you know, make to enrich maybe your style. Uh, be very sure that, that that is what you are doing. You are not making, you know, a mistake. Uh, because Man City play, Man City play Arsenal next week. They have not, you know, we normally use, normally use um, the plural, you know, verbs with those teams. That can, that can be a, a topic for another day. But I'm saying that um, Man City play Arsenal next week, you know, next month. They have not played, they are, they are not yet, they are not yet playing, you know, uh, the other team. They are not yet, you know, the match is not yet holding. Yet we are using play, you know, the present tense to tell or others about the, about the future. It is correct. You can also have um, the present continuous, the progressive tense uh, 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 expressing the same thing. In other words, the ing form also has the power to tell us about something uh, that has not yet uh, occurred, something to express a future action. I'm going there next week. I'm going there tomorrow. I am going, I'm not yet doing so, I'm only telling you what I intend to do, you know, in the nearest future. They are visiting us in July. Maybe this is just uh, May or April or, or even January. And I uh, am now using the verb, the present continuous tense form to state what will happen months after so that is uh, the situation you have the present tense expressing a future action thanks for watching again and kindly subscribe to our youtube channel